Hi guys, this is Alta of Wisdom. Today we're going to talk about uh, mini mapping, advanced mini mapping of uh, uh, an Akai MPK controller under Logic Pro X. Uh, Logic can be quite a pain uh, with regards to automate to mapping uh, mini controllers if they are not uh, officially supported. So we're going to see that we still can do some very advanced things. Uh, for example, here we're going to um, map the various oscillator of a plugin. Uh, namely Badzilla uh, and, uh, and the logic and uh, make it basically work uh, uh, without t having to touch uh, touch on the mouse uh, mainly. So uh, first thing that we're gonna do is uh, taking the main preset which is uh, by, by default under the Akai, uh, the preset number 13 which is called logic. This one is fairly good uh, but still I've seen that uh, the knobs and uh, switches uh, don't behave exactly uh, as I would like them to. So I had to change them. So let's get back on that. So basically, if I turn on the knob, so they're sending, they're sending me the CCs, that's fine. Faders also, everything is, is uh, sending me the CCs and the switches also. Uh, however, the switches are set to momentary, which is uh, something I didn't, I couldn't make work uh, properly. And also the knobs, they are working as MIDI CC and I don't want that. So let's first uh, store this program under a new name. So let's say we're going to take the preset number 30, uh, going to be logic two, for example. So that's my personal mapping. So I don't want to, I want to change the, the, the manufacturer mapping and just press enter to store. Now we have a brand new preset which is a copy basically of the logic one. Let's change that preset. So first for the knobs, uh, we want to change them to ink deck uh, to increase and decrease two mode. Uh, I found out that this one works better. Same for all, same for the, uh, the others. Basically this mode uh, allows to send some relative uh, changes to the, to the door uh, with some acceleration also. So it's in quite interesting. Same for the eight knobs. For the switches, they are by default set to momentary. It means that they turn off uh, and as soon as you release them, they turn, they turn on, uh, sorry, the, the contrary. I want them to, to be switched to toggle, meaning that I have to press them again once they are turned on to turn them off. Same for the eight switches. Let's check that everything is fine. Okay. Same for the knobs. Okay, everything is perfect. So let's get back to the preset and save it. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, if you reset your controller, you're gonna lose your changes. So, okay, that's stored. Now let's get to, to logic itself. So basically we're gonna make use of zones and modes to do that. So let's open the export view of the MIDI controller assignment menu. Let's create a zone, which is uh, what we'll call MPK261, which correspond to my controller and in that, uh, in that zone we create we're going to create uh, different modes uh, one for each oscillator of the plugin we're going to use so he, again here is basil and it has four oscillators and we also will create a global mode uh, which will allow us to globally control uh, some of the parameters uh, for all the oscillators at the same time can be quite convenient, for example, if you want to change uh, detune or just global, globally change the pitch of, the, of all the oscillators. So using uh, command X and command V, you can basically reorder uh, the zones and, uh, the mo and the modes. It's quite convenient to have them in the, in a, in a, in a correct order, especially then later we'll see that the mode change menu is quite buggy, so you have to you have to read on the modes list uh, because it's not displaying all the proper information. Let's check that. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's get rid of that. So let's try that again. Sometimes it's uh, it's bugging a bit. So uh, you you usually want to save your control assignment file, uh, which is located in the library preferences in your personal folder. Uh, and it's some sometimes it gets uh, it gets uh, screwed up, uh, so it's better to change it. So okay, so global mode oscillator one, two, three, and four. So what we're gonna do is that in the global mode, when we switch, when we press one of the switches, we wanna switch to the mode corresponding to that oscillator. So let's say okay, I want a mode change, and here is where it's glitching. So basically. Uh, it's displaying MPK to six one, which is a zone, and uh, instead of the name of the mode, so they are in in the, the the list order. So I know that the second one is oscillator one, so mode change, and I'm pressing. So hold on, I need to I need to to remove the okay, that's fine. So this will switch to oscillator one, this to oscillator two. So if I'm pressing one of the keys, and uh, the parameters I have I have used is to do direct change, mode direct, uh, no feedback because the group MIDI controller doesn't have this information. Direct and no feedback. I mean, this, is the, this is the set of parameters that I've seen to work. So let's change to, okay, let's do the third, third oscillator. So that's the fourth in our list. Pressing the third switch, there we go. Again, as you see, it doesn't it doesn't take my uh, exact same parameter. So and then if you remove the rotate the learn mode, then it's uh, it's getting rid. So you have to do it again. Same for the for the force oscillator and the force switch. No change. And now this is the latest. Okay. Latest in our in our parameters. Yeah, no, so it doesn't want to take it. So that doesn't change and the direct. So let's check that everything is okay. I'm in the global mode. Switch, okay, okay. So as you see, when I'm in oscillator one mode, it doesn't get back. It doesn't go for some reason to the right because I need to uh, also program in each of the oscillators a way to get back to the global mode. So let's take oscillator one mode and program to get back on the global mode when I release, when I press again that, uh, that button. You see that the message is different now. Again, direct and no feedback. This way I can switch from and to the global mode uh, when I'm in oscillator two. Same for the oscillator two. Okay, mode change, back to global mode, which is the first in the list, and pressing the second switch when it's turned on. It's a bit awkward, but still, uh, you know, see that it work. It works. Okay. Direct. No feedback again. Okay. So let's remove the buttons. To the last one. Now, if I'm back on the oscillator one, I can switch to and from all the under the modes, the oscillator mode, from and to the global one. Working, okay. 
and the fourth one is working also. So basically we have a way to check to switch modes to and from uh, the global one. Let's check that all the parameters are okay, no feedback. Not sure if it doesn't if it changed anything, but uh, as logic is quite peculiar with this, uh, I prefer to be uh, to to have something uh, really deterministic. Good, and um, okay. N now we have uh, basically created a way to uh, switch uh, from various modes using the switch the, using the, the 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 switches of the controller. Now let's get to the let's get to Bazilla. I'm just gonna do a basic routing of the four oscillators without any further changes. Let's put a bit of phase modulation. So it will allow us to to listen to what we are changing later. That's the self self FM basically. Let's do the same for the for, for the four oscillators. Okay. Okay, now we have basically four souls. Now let's take, we have on the left the uh, plugin and on the right the explorer view. And let's just also see the monitor what we're doing on the, on the controller itself. So let's say we are, in, <coughs> we are in the global mode. And let's program the uh, first oscillator. So I'm gonna switch to the first oscillator, select it in the menu. And now uh, we're gonna go in learn mode and use the knobs to configure what I've already written down in a, with a pencil. So volume is gonna be the first knob, then we're gonna use the coarse tune on the second one, then the fine tune on the third one, the phase distortion, the fourth one, then the sync primer, which is a, what they call fractalize on the on Bazilla. Then the phase modulation, which is basically the FM, uh, the phase change and let, lastly the frequency modulation uh, pitch modulation of the of the of the oscillator so here's pretty straightforward but uh, sometimes uh, logic uh, takes the, the the right settings automatically but sometimes it doesn't work so for some reason you have to check manually that uh, everything is fine uh, basically, what you want to have is that uh, the format of the of the of the message is second complement, and that also the mode is really relative. If you don't have that, it's, gonna, it's not going to work. Uh, it's going to do some crazy stuff. So uh, no feedback. Again, still I'm not sure if it doesn't if it does make any, any anything, but as uh, feedback is used to send back to the controller uh, to display some values, and we don't have any any display whatsoever on the on the IKM PK, so it doesn't make any sense to have that parameter mm, put to something. Now I'm going to fast forward a bit uh, to the to the end of that part that, that section. So we're going to do the same for all the for all the all the oscillators.
Okay, now we're back in the global mode. So let, let's add just a bit of, uh, of, uh, of settings, ouch. <laughs> let's add a bit of setting here. So what basically we wanna do is control the global volume and some global parameters. Now we have no switch uh, turned on, so nothing is, is doing, nothing is changing if I turn the knobs, which is uh, what we want. So let's uh, map the volumes of the two outputs to uh, that first knob. So, okay, for the first one. So you see that he has sign magnitude, and I don't want that, so we'll change that later. And I want to assign both uh, the outputs to the same knob. Then, okay, so I want to keep those. Then I'm gonna control the tune of the four oscillators at the same time. It will allow, to change, it will allow me to change uh, the global tune of everyone without changing the relationship. Same for the fine tuning. Let's control also the phase distortion. Sync or fractalize. Same stuff here. The phase modulation at the FM also. So it's quite simple. You just click on the corresponding knob and <coughs> you turn the corresponding uh, button. You have to keep all the settings uh, at the same times because you want to control many parameters with just one knob. Phase, I don't think it's useful, so let's just do the uh, tune modulation. Okay, so let's just check all that, keep both. Let's just check that everything is correct properly. So relative at the same every, every time. Okay, good. So relative. Okay, okay. And this one is not, not okay, so second complement. Okay, fine. So basically, normally, now we should be able to change uh, the volume and all the parameters when no mode is selected. On the, on the on the whole plugin so it looks like it's working so it's good to check that everything is working fine because it's pretty peculiar so sometimes it's a bit of a mess good phase doesn't do anything and finally tune relation good so now everyone is in sync and I can get to the Sub oscillator, the oscillator menu, and I can change that. So let's change the global FM. There we go. Get back to a sign, auto so for the whole, the, the four oscillators at the same time, which is pretty convenient. And then I can change one of these, lower its volume. And finally the latest. So I have full control both of the oscillators and also at the global uh, level I can control the whole the four, four oscillators at the same time. So it takes a bit of time to, to use that but uh, once it's done it's pretty convenient and it uh, gives you some feeling about uh, physical use of the, of the system.